CCAG is Connecticut's oldest and largest uh, watchdog, watchdog organization with over 25,000 member families. We talk to our members every single day. Whether we're talking to them about utility rates, about environmental protection, about health care, every single time, every single night, somebody brings it back to credit cards. It is arguably one of the biggest issues we're hearing about. And I want to applaud Senator Dodd for not only introducing this legislation, but also taking a leadership role in challenging the ideology that Attorney General Blumenthal spoke about previously in the last administration of market fundamentalism and understanding that protecting consumers is a very strong way for building a vibrant and strong economy. Our member families are struggling. People are losing their jobs. Some are losing their homes. Some are seeing having to take furloughs. We're seeing health care costs rise to the point that they have to choose between paying a bill, getting their medicines, or health care. One of the worst and most abusive practices that we've seen out there is in regards to the credit card industry. There's no question about it. Anybody you talk to will talk about their rates going up, their billing cycles being changed, not understanding the rules. They think they play by the rules and they change all the time. Senator Dodd has put forward very comprehensive legislation that's representative of his career within the Senate. Over 20 organizations on February 12th, including CCAG, Consumer Federation of America, Consumer Union, the NAACP, the National Council of La Raza, signed on to a letter applauding Senator Dodd for introducing this legislation. And like Senator Dodd, we think the times are changing and now is the opportunity that the pendulum is going to swing back and that consumers are going to be put first. And we believe that Senator Dodd's experience and leadership is going to be instrumental in making sure it gets done this time. Senator Dodd talked about the 2005 Bankruptcy Act that was passed. And I want to really take a point to say that he was one of the lone voices that stood up and said, this is crazy. That limiting consumer protections in terms of bankruptcy these are going to be in the long-term interest of the, of the lenders or of the economy. And he successfully fought that for years. But the market fundamentalism that I spoke of last night ruled the day with the Bush administration. They're changed, and we're lucky that Senator Dodd is in a position to begin to push back and to deal with the issues like credit card abuses, predatory lending, and, and cram down mortgages. We're hopeful that working with him and the rest of our congressional delegation, we're going to take advantage of the opportunity that this crisis presents because it's not only the right thing to do, it is the only way that we're going to really build a vibrant and strong economy going forward. And I think that there's, I'm going to speak for a second to some of my friends from the media within the room here and everything. Uh, because I think there's a, oftentimes, we cover issues and we look at things at horse races or what's happening today or tomorrow. I think last night's interview between John Stewart and Kramer is arguably one of the most important events that have happened this year. To point out the way that too often our media has been about reinforcing this market fundamentalism instead of doing the types of investigative reporting and challenging that's out there. I think some of us can laugh because it was John Stewart, but it was extremely powerful. And the issue that we are dealing with here today and that Senator Dodd has taken the leadership on in terms of abusive credit card practices and his role as the chair of the banking committee in advancing this is something that the public deserves and needs to know about and to know about these abusive practices that they're not there alone. It's not their fault. It is a systematic problem. We have a senator that has the courage to stand up and to fight this. And we're going to continue to work with and to push Senator Dodd to go as far with this as we possibly can. Thank you, Senator Dodd.